headed to Lowe's to go check out Craftsman's new sauce. Hopefully with new owners, Stanley Black and Decker, we'll see some improvement. And that's what this video is about. The new home of Craftsman, Lowe's. They got Craftsman Lowers. They got Craftsman Lowers. They have Craftsman Chainsaws. They have Craftsman Weed Whackers. More Craftsman. Mowers. They got craftsman tillers, and they even have craftsman pressure washers. But what we came to get was a craftsman saw, so let's go find it. And craftsman weather radios. Look at all this red. It used to be filled with blue with cobalt tools, but now it's filled with craftsman. This is what Craftsman used to be famous for, is hand tools. Look at this monster. I think we found it. Looking for a saw, saw, ah, there it is. Price. Of course, no price. Ah, there it is, $69. We needed the battery. We need to get some help. Oh, look, I see it right. Uh, no, that's. Oh. And I got some more on five, I think. I had some. All right. Oh, is that it there? Yep, man. That's ma'am. I see it. Look, it says we have three, but only have one on the shelf. All right. Oh, we appreciate it. You're so welcome. You can give it to the little young man here. here we go, All right, thank you very much. All right, y'all have a blessed day. Thank you. Thanks for Stay dry. <laughs> we'll try. Most corded circular saws have seven and a quarter inch blade, but this Craftsman V20 lithium ion has a six and a half, and that's all we need. We're not sure if this thing comes with a blade, so we're gonna go pick one out. Seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter. Seven and a quarter, six and a half. Ah, but what we're really looking for is a Diablo brand. So we're gonna have to go to Home Depot. Wow, look at this fancy toolbox. This Craftsman skill saw would sure look good in there. Look, wait, made in the USA. It's about time, Craftsman. Harbor Freight to compare a cord to saw. Here at Harbor Freight, we get a similar saw, but for $20 cheaper. But it's also going to feel $20 cheaper. Plus, we already had the batteries. Harbor Freight has the blades. Here on my right hand, I have a bar for $7. Here in my left hand, I have a Hercules for $10. But I think we're going to stick with the Diablo brand. I know some of you fanboys out there are going to say, hey, get the Milwaukee or the DeWalt. But major weakness is cheap. And that was cheap. Not as cheap as Harbor Freight, but it was cheap. More than two craftsmen for the price of this one, 149. Here's your rigid for 159. We choose the Diablo Demo Demo for 16.97, made in Italy. 
e de água, se eu só for. Once this rain stops, we'll go to check out the salt. First of all, sorry for the rain. It's a tin roof. Um, right now, we're going to go over the box with the circular saw. Uh, first of all, it is a craftsman. Circular saw. It has a three-year limited warranty. The slogan is, we build pride. It requires a V20 lithium-ion battery, which we have right here. It has a two and one eighth cut depth. A normal two by four is one and a half inches. So that's plenty of cut depth. It has a 50 degree tool free bevel capacity. That's plenty of tilt. Um, and this is our Diablo blade. Now, for the unboxing segment of the Here's what you get in the box. You get, of course, the saw. You get an owner's manual and you get a blade. We bought a 24 tooth blade because this one was an 18 tooth blade. The more the teeth, the smoother the cut. One of the things you need to know when you're going to buy a blade is the size of the auger. The auger is the hole in the middle, as so right here. If you don't know the size of your auger, you can go to Harbor Freight and get a digital caliper. To measure, you stick the caliper in, in there, and pull back. This one is 0 .60. 0 .60 is about 5 eighths, as shown as on the blade. In order to change the blade on the skill saw, you get the Allen wrench that is attached right there. You take it out and press the black button right there. That button locks the auger up. To unscrew this, you get your Allen wrench and go the opposite way that you normally do on the regular screw. After taking the auger screw out, there is a washer. To put the blade in, you will retract the blade guard and insert the blade. Unretract the blade guard and get the auger screw and the uh, washer. Depress the blade lock and tighten the auger screw in. When tightening this, remember that it is an opposite way of tightening a regular screw. The next step of putting this together is the battery. You insert the battery and press the lock button in. Push down. To adjust your bevel, you will loosen this. To operate the saw, you push the safety switch in and pull the trigger. Now, the moment of truth. Works great. So let's talk about the battery. This unit did not come with the battery or the charges. Let's start off with the lock mechanism. Press this button down and it allows it to go in. It is a two amp battery. There's also a four amp battery if you're interested. 
Press this button and it shows you the battery life. My impression of this saw overall was a very good impression. It was worth the money. Uh, we don't know how long it's going to last, but for this time being, it is a good saw. Like and subscribe to Major Weakness. Thank you.